So welcome to this video. I'm super super excited uh, because Victoria is here today because we are together or we met each other in the Canary Islands because I'm originally from Sweden. She's originally from no, I'm originally from Germany and she's from Sweden. Yes. But I live here in the Canary Islands for already in the past some years, now some month, and you're on vacation here. So. Yeah, kind of vacation. I actually hear uh, and uh, re I, I write uh, books, Ropa books in Swedish. Yeah. So uh, that is what I'm doing right now. But it's like half uh, vacation, so okay. I don't do it uh, full time. Uh, so yeah, it's so nice to be here. Just come to the warm climate and uh, not being home in Sweden, sitting inside and write my books and exactly. and uh, taking photograph, having uh, photographing and having problem with the lightning and so on. Yeah. So I'm so happy to be here right now. And uh, yeah, I feel that it's it's so so much for the health if you can come to a warm climate in the winter time. If you uh, yeah, if you are living yeah. Uh, in a cold climate, so yeah, it's it's like a health boost, I think. I yes. agree. Yes. And maybe for those of you who don't know, the Canary Islands, they're actually they belong to Spain, and um, so they like people speak Spanish, but also some people speak a little bit English, but they're actually islands and they're ge geographically they belong to Africa. So they're next mm. to um, Ma Morocco, Morocco, but really amazing islands. So highly recommend, especially yeah. for people from Europe, because you don't need a visa to exactly. go here. So yeah, for some month, for a vacation or work vacation or things like that, it's really nice. So uh, we have a really cool topic, which is dating yeah. uh, or relationships um, with people that are maybe raw vegan, vegan, not raw vegan, not vegan and just sharing our experience. So what is your experience with that? <laughs> uh, I mean, um, my experience is that uh, the easiest uh, and uh, when I feel like my best mm -hmm. is, um, is not about the other person's diet, it's actually about our respect for each other. Yeah, for sure. So, so that is the most important thing, that if I want to eat in a certain way, I want him to respect me and not say like, oh, you can do this uh, just because I, it's easier, just because I do yeah. it. And, yeah. and, and uh, I wouldn't like, yeah, be that effect, uh, effect on, on that guy either. Yeah. So, so that is the most important thing I, I, I feel. And um, because when diet is hard and it's easy to like, uh, you, you're not fighting but you have like discussions about things and uh, yeah I just want things to be easy because yeah. the your partner is not I mean it's your partner and you should have fun together and you should I do think. things in life and and have interest and, and so on together so food is just I mean you eat food because you you want energy for the other things in life you want to do yeah. and how he gets the energy that is that is his, cho his choice but I prefer that the guy I'm, I'm with uh, at least is vegetarian yeah, that, uh, yeah that's so nice. yeah. yeah and um, uh, I mean yeah I, I, I feel I, well, I also think that I wouldn't be so attracted to someone that eats meat because I can yeah. feel the smell yeah, it, it doesn't, yeah. yeah and that is not so attractive <laughs> But uh, yeah. except that, I could e I could easily be with a guy that yeah. eats uh, whatever. But I wouldn't be so. No, I it's mean, not attractive to see I someone mean, like eating meat and the, yeah. and then the smell when when nah, you have okay. the brief when you wake up in the morning. It's like oh yeah, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> or like someone eats uh, pizza mm. and then no, I don't know. Like yeah. like pizza that is full of like fat and animal fat and then. Bah, no, I don't. So I agree. Like, and I think in a perfect world, everyone would be already vegan. Like yeah. everyone, that would be the perfect. And yes. yeah. So in a perfect world, that would be so nice if you have a partner already that is vegan or that is even like healthy vegan. That would be yeah. the best thing. Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be the perfect world. But um, for me, I have actually um, with dating guys, I have some experiences. So for example, I was together with a guy and he was not, when we met each other, he was not vegetarian. 
that he was super interested in it. Like, yeah. um, he was, um, and when I, he, he asked me, hey, what is vegetarianism? What is veganism? And why do you do it? And some people, they ask you, why do you do it in a very judgmental way? Yeah. And they want to say, what you do is wrong, for example, and exactly. you should stop it. But he asked more in a curious way, hey, what is it? Or, and then we watched even some movies like Game Changers. Yeah. And even with my business, like writing ebooks or coaching, he always tried to encourage me, like, hey, that's a cool thing. And that helped so much because I came before that from a little bit of an environment yeah. where people were saying, hey, what you do is not so good and you should change how you eat and all of that. So a lot more judgmental. So I think that's so important to have if you have dating or relationship to be with someone who respects that in some yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. And you, you want to get the support if you're yeah. working with it. I'm also working with it. I, I write yeah. raw books and so on. So if someone thinks that the raw diet is stupid, yeah. it would be very hard for me to, exactly. to continue actually my work and, exactly. and be motivated to my work also. Yeah. So uh, supporting and, and uh, like having some kind of interest is actually uh, really important. I want yeah. to try things without like Oh, I don't see the protein on your plate. Yeah, I, I no, don't, I don't no want way. to hear that. But <laughs> it's no like, I, I just want to have someone that supports what I'm doing. Yeah. And uh, and I guess that this is the same for yeah. the other partner also. So, exactly. so yeah, that goes hand in hand. Yeah. And uh, I, it's not that I support eating meat, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be like angry on someone that is, yeah. that is doing it. And probably, and hopefully, he will come to the point where he actually go and eat more vegan because I eat vegan. Yeah. I will I will inspire people. Exactly. I mean if people are with me, they are vegan in a few months. <laughs> exactly. Like and I think that, that at least for me Oh me no one was there. Yeah. In the past relationship that for me that was the case because yeah. when you prepare food, at least I think many people they say, Oh, there's already food, I eat it and then it's automatically vegan or bar vegan. Yeah. And that that's also what I did like I tried or I did a lot of made a lot of food and then the other person naturally ate that so naturally even though when I first met the person he was not vegetarian even but when we were living together it was always vegan because mm. it was just so more convenient yeah. Because, yeah so yeah that was yeah but I, I think I couldn't be with someone also uh, especially living together no. I would not want to have a fridge where there's a, where there's meat Mm. Like that would be a no go because no. I'm I'm so that would be like depressive when you open yeah, and see no. dead animals. No, I, no, no, I can no. I can handle like eggs and and dairy products and so yeah, on. Yeah, like or like. Uh, but but I mean, if it's something dead like meat or a fish, yeah. it's not like. I, I, I don't get happy when, when I open the fridge and yeah, I, no, I, I want to be happy when I open yeah. the fridge. <laughs> yeah, for me that would be a no go for sure. And I but I think the thing is like people they make such a big thing about it. But um, like already now, at least in Germany, yeah. there's so many alternative products. So you can buy instead of meat, you just you, you go to the supermarket and like here's meat but then next to the meat there is the vegan meat yeah and maybe okay it's not maybe the most healthy one but if you are still like in the initial stages of veganism yeah. you just choose the other one exactly. so i think that that's and it's so easy and i think people have so many blockages mm -hmm. that they say oh vegan is so difficult like okay. and they think that they oh i need this i need this and uh, yeah if i if i eat this i don't get this and i mean that is not true. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I, I People would, are deficient on every diet. I yeah. agree. If they, is, uh, yeah. I think sure. going vegan is actually not so hard because you can just instead of eggs, there are so many s different alternatives for eggs, at mm -hmm. least in Germany right now. Definitely. But, but I think in a lot of countries already, and yeah, and I mean going healthy. That I mean that's more tricky. Yeah. But but going vegan, you just switch a uh, meat product to meat plant-based product yeah, basically exactly so and better. you have so much variety also and yeah. actually even more variety when you eat like vegan or raw food mm -hmm. i guess because people that eat meats they actually eat very the same i have noticed yeah. they have their yogurt and the sandwich for uh exactly. for breakfast and then everyone have like five recipes they are switching on all the time yeah. and then they buy pizza and burger uh, on side of that so it's not yeah. actually so much variety and uh, with the, with the diet we have, uh, like raw food and vegan, you have to prepare the food more, uh, like with spices and herbs, and uh, you don't have to, but we do it, and uh, 
we get so much variety, we have so much different uh, products, especially right now, also like you yeah. said, uh, if you want to buy things, uh, like it's, it's all already prepared, you can do it, yeah. but on the other hand, it's very easy to, to make your yeah. own delicious cheese and your own delicious like burgers, so yeah. many different varieties out there. Yeah, you can do so. especially yeah. like her ebooks are amazing, so you have to, oh. yeah, no really, mm -hmm. like I have some of them, so it's really, really cool. And it's so important to get some recipe recipe ideas as well. Yes. So yeah. And also what I wanted to say, because um, before I had my first relationship, I was already vegan mm -hmm. for a couple of years. And I grew up more in a village, like conservative. Many people didn't know about veganism. So it was kind of this taboo topic. Mm -hmm. um, but And I was thinking, oh, I will never have like a partner that will accept me and the way that I eat. And that is, I can say for sure, maybe in your small little village, I don't know. But if you just go in a bigger city, for sure you will meet someone who thinks that it's something amazing, something cool, yeah. something great. And eating healthy, making smoothies, it's so cool. Exactly. And, yeah. and I have noticed also through the years, I have been eating this like 10, I mean, 10 years or something like that. I mean, I have been eating like... Uh, yeah, like almost, I mean vegetarian for many years, but uh, in the beginning I, I was like, when I was up a teenager, if I want vegetarian, people was like, what? Why are you eating that stuff? Yeah. It was like very weird, you know, weird, yeah. uh, even vegetarian, uh, but, uh, and then uh, for a few years ago, actually not, yeah, maybe five years ago, if I compare to now, uh, it's so like normalized and if I say that a yeah. vegan is people are like they know exactly what that is and they didn't know that before so yeah. it's so much more uh, like acceptable right now I feel yeah. and okay raw food is a little bit exotic to, to many yeah. people but, many people. but uh, still they they are more open to it now than before so so I think that it's just becoming easier and easier to get accepted and if mm -hmm. you want to find the partner it's also a better chance that you get a partner that actually accepts you just yeah. because of the, I, I wouldn't say a trend, it, it, yeah. because this is not a trend, this is just yeah. how we need to live in the future, but, but it is more like a trend now than before, because before yeah. we didn't care so much about yeah. Yeah, uh, our own future with like killing animals and, and so on, so yeah. I agree. Yeah, in Germany also is a lot more people, at least Raw veganism is still uh, like nobody knows about it, yeah. but veganism is already coming. Definitely. Yeah, maybe yeah. in the small small village, not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they, they yeah. might know what it is. Yeah, they is, already uh, know yeah. what it is. Yeah. Before, for many years ago, they didn't know, and it was like they they were so anti it, you know. Yeah. Uh, but now it's more uh, it's more positivity, okay. definitely. Uh, so so that is a big change. Uh, change that I have waiting so many years to see and yeah, finally it actually happened so, so yeah that is wonderful yeah it's really nice <laughs> exactly and also what I was thinking about the like being with a partner what you said that actually the most important is that uh, respect in a way because yes. I feel like sometimes at least I had a phase uh, when I was vegan maybe like two years at that time I was thinking I only want to be with someone who's vegan mm. and I think that for some people that works yeah. but for some people they, they need to be a little bit more flexible too and say okay veganism is obviously such a big thing and so important but what are the, the other things that are important for example for me I could not be with someone who is okay he's vegan he checks that box but for example he doesn't check other boxes or he's like super super extreme and super angry like in that always being angry and super super yeah in that bubble of everything is bad because I had that too like when I first vegan I was so angry with the world like how can this yeah. be and something and but over the years I learned how to deal with it and like yeah you have to focus also on the good things Definitely. so yeah. I think that's also important to be with a partner who, who sees also the good things, yeah. So I think it's what I want to say. It's not so black and white. Everything exactly, yeah. It's a little bit. You, yeah. you, I mean, for me, I, I don't want to be with someone that is super extreme. That is that is getting angry for like small things that is not vegan or yeah. or so. That would be very hard for me because 
I just want to be in an easy word with happiness and uh, That's true. Uh, yeah, not so much discussions and so on. Yeah. So, what yeah. I also couldn't be is to be with someone who's maybe raw vegan, but super extreme raw vegan and yeah. does like a water fast every week and in my opinion has, has some sort of eating disorder where he's like super, super, um, he has to uh, like, it's, I mean it's great if you do a water fast, but if you do it every week, five days and yeah. if the goal is not health but it's just to to uh, like to have that certain level of perfection i personally i wouldn't want to be in a relationship yeah with i mean if you if you can't go out on a restaurant or or, or do anything or like yeah. uh, you are going with out with friends or something i mean yeah. i don't want it to be too advanced and I mean, that is for me uh, like a mental problem, an eating disorder, because if you want to do this diet long time, uh, it doesn't work to be that yeah. restrictive. I think you have to be a little bit more open and uh, and a little bit more relaxed. I mean, you can do it long time, but you, you, you wouldn't feel so good, so mm -hmm. it's not health anymore. Uh, so yeah, that is, and, and also people that do one extreme, they, 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 switch, oh, back. they, they, go, yeah. they switch back or they yeah. go one extreme to another extreme or yeah. they try different things because yeah. they eat so like, yeah, strict and not enough white. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know if it's true, but that's something that I noticed um, and I have the feeling that on social media, social media, it works really well if you have a certain extreme. Yeah. And so if you have something super extreme, people get curious, they want to watch it. Yeah. And I feel like that's why in the media, very often raw veganism is promoted as an eating disorder or something super extreme. It's just that those cases, they get more media attention. Mm -hmm. But if you do like a raw vegan diet or a vegan diet, like in a healthy vegan diet, in a normal way, and yeah. you're healthy, like the media doesn't focus so much on it. Yeah, that's know. so true. I, I, have, uh, so I have noticed that also. And uh, maybe it's just also more interesting to see how someone is like, yeah, dealing with the diet and go from one extreme to another, exactly. like uh, the vegetables police. So, okay, I wouldn't ah. say <laughs> <laughs> trying new different things and uh, all the time, you know, it's, it's just, yeah. oh, it's exciting. It's and exciting. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so the thing uh, like we are doing. Maybe it's not that exciting just because we are we are like We're I stable. have been the, I have been very stable in many years yeah. and uh, yeah. yeah. So but it's, it's always like that also in, in the movies. If yes. you have a movie with a lot of drama, yeah. people usually watch that movie more. Also yeah. like relationship drama, that's what movie what people probably are more drawn to than instead of a movie that is like super calm and stable. Exactly. Like, I go to sleep. I am really I the opposite to drama and I am I hate it so much. I, I just I am not the person that like want to have discussions or fights yeah, and, no. and uh, like dramas and I just I just don't care if uh, I mean I don't make things so big, you know. It's it's just I just want my partner to be the same. That is the most important to me mm. because I, I would get very stressed if, if someone is like angry or or so I, I can't handle that well at all yeah. actually. So yeah. yeah, and that is also what what I am used to because I have I don't have any like brothers or sisters. I I am grown up alone and I'm yeah. very like yeah um, into um, into a very calm pe uh, calm like space and uh, yeah very good relationships with my with my family and with yeah my friends my my whole life I have always been like the, yeah. the kind person that that don't fight yeah I agree I <laughs> so agree. so that is just what I am used to so if if I get a partner in my life that is like yeah very angry and and very yeah, like connect. want to discuss things I, I will get like <gasps> yeah. stressed and and uh, yeah I I couldn't handle that no, at all so no. yeah I'm not that kind of person at all no I had I grew up <laughs> so that is the most important thing mo very, so much more important than veganism yes I me think. too <laughs> like those that's also what I noticed in dating people over the years the what is really important to me I mean so many things are important but yeah. the most important is really how is the person yes. like the character because if you really live together with a person or you spend a lot of time together like how much money they have or what they study studied or something like that like it's the background mm. like in some ways important but the really important is the values are they calm are yeah. they stable I like do you really like that person that's that's the real important thing i think yes exactly yeah yeah so so diet is just 
It's just a little it's one thing. It's one thing, but it's yeah. it's not everything. It's just a small little little piece of the whole yeah. puzzle. <laughs> but what is what is for sure is maybe with veganism there are some values connected yeah. to it. So I think that many people that are vegan uh, eventually they want to live more in nature. And yes. for example, uh, now I'm dating someone and he's not vegan yet. I think he, I think he will be yes. like in a couple of years. Definitely, maybe. you will inspire him for sure. <laughs> But that's and also really important to never force people. Exactly. So I would never yes. or be. You mean. should just be the inspiration, not yeah. the force. Uh, yeah. Person. Or like yeah. be mean or say like, mm, like be judgmental mm. because that's that's not so good. But yeah. So and he also wants to move more like on the countryside and like if you have those values, I think that that's important. Like yes, exactly. That you are close to nature, mm. and that is also something that happens if you eat more vegan and yeah, uh, eat, uh, and definitely eat more raw food you will yeah. automatically be more interested in nature yeah uh, mm-hmm. and interested in picking your own food and and just yeah that that comes so natural to you uh, so yeah. yeah because you don't eat this uh, things you don't know where it comes from and uh, That's true. yeah it's, it's have no colors and yeah you are you're not you don't have to have the colors around you but if you start to eat the color you actually want to have more, more color. color yeah more yeah. color not only the food you want to have a colorful yeah. lifestyle because you you notice that the colorful food makes you so happy so you want you want the whole happiness you know i agree so uh, so nature uh, you will come closer to nature for sure if you start to eat uh, uh, raw food or, or even vegan actually yeah yeah i so, agree so that is so huge yeah it's and you will feel more love and more more love uh, uh, or like the animals, uh, that, yeah. that's also some, something that comes very natural for yeah. you, that you will feel, feel more love in yourself. Yeah. It's so interesting, no? Like how the food that you eat, it really does change, change us, you Yeah, the mind and everything, and how, everything. You, how you think and how you feel and yeah, you, you, you naturally become happier if you eat like living foods and colorful foods compared to if you eat something dead. And, and the thing is that if you eat, eat an animal, Mm-hmm. Uh, that animal have gone through so much things in the, in their life that yes. you don't know. So when you eat that animal, you actually absorb the energy that that animal have in their soul uh, from the uh, yeah. And you don't know what that uh, energy is. Maybe uh, they have have a, a really bad life that that often happens because yeah we we don't treat our animals that we are eating so well. They are yeah. in a very small places and. Uh, um, they don't they don't do well and we we give them uh, like antibiotics and uh, and things that will make them grow bigger and so on so so they are actually sick and and then you absorb that energy in your body and then you become like negative and so on so i yeah so so it actually makes lots of sense that you shouldn't eat an animal you know yeah i agree yeah i agree Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and maybe to end this video, do you have any advice to be vegan or happy vegan or like uh, plant based uh, long term? Because you do it so many years already. What is your uh, number one or two or three advice? Oh wow! I mean, my I mean, this, I, th- I think that um, you f- you should be more relaxed and yeah. uh, and not so like. You, you have uh, I think that uh, like thinking more about the other parts in life is more so important because yeah. then it's easier to eat healthier because if you if you're not so stimulating about stimu- if you don't have so much stimulants uh, around you you will um, need a stimulus from your food and exactly. and then you make you eat heavier food and so on but if you if you have stimulus around you that that you're very happy with you can eat lighter and, and feel very good so so that is my number one i think yeah and uh, yeah so sleep and move your body and and all these health aspects also uh, mm-hmm. but if you want to eat more raw food i think that it's important that you incorporate enough fruit and vegetables and actually and nuts and seeds and actually make sure that you get enough calories mm. and you shouldn't be afraid of eating too much fat or too little fat or uh, okay maybe too little or something but yeah. too much fruit or too much fat or, or something like that yeah. and you should feel your own body instead of listen to other people because there's so many gurus out there that say that this is bad and you shouldn't eat so much of this so much yeah. of that and you should and it and, and uh, yeah you you 
you don't know what actually works for you so you yeah. have to try it yourself so that is that is really important because all, always these people on social media they want to make money like yeah medical media for example for example is very mm -hmm. popular he had lots of supplements he said that fats is bad that kombucha yeah. is bad vinegar is bad but maybe it's actually very good for you and if you listen on him you actually you, you actually miss some parts that actually can make your health better I agree. Mm -hmm. so it's very important that you you just don't listen to anyone you just try it yourself and, yeah. uh, and see what what you uh, yeah how you react on it i agree mm -hmm. i think that's also such a huge learning lesson that i had to left to uh, that not everything is so black and white yeah. there are some things that are black and white yes, like definitely. eating animals is bad obviously black and white but so many things is also gray so see how it feels in your body like it depends a little bit which country you live in which climate you're in that also depends a little bit on how you eat at least for me it does yeah. a lot actually and to yeah to have that um more complexity in some ways it's not okay you have to eat that way um, if you're pregnant or not if you have children or not if you have if you live in a cold climate or tropical climate but instead to say okay what what does work for me actually and exactly yeah yeah find the way that works for you and, yeah uh, and listen on that yeah yeah that would be the best advice i think <laughs> nice okay then that was already the video if you have not already then check definitely out uh, victoria's ebooks they're amazing i already have them i think your latest is the indian cuisine yeah book, right? indian ebook yeah that is in english yes that is so that cool is, yeah yeah, especially. Yeah, that is my favorite, I think. Yeah. I love Indian food. Yeah, so and if you're in any climate, you should try out the recipes. But especially if you're uh, now suffering a little bit because you're in a cold climate, yeah. you have to, like, that's also a huge advice. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay on this diet long term, try out different recipes and actually invest in those ebooks. So I will link everything below. Yay. And I'm really excited. So, yeah, me too. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thank Yay. you for watching. <laughs> okay. Bye.